didn't really affect me at all. Um, you know, I was going in there to fight either way, and um, you know, I was excited to be on, on the first pay-per-view for Bellator, but you know, changing over to Spike, it's a blessing in disguise. You know, everything happens for a reason. If anything, we're just going to get more viewers to uh, tune in and and see uh, some amazing fights that night. Has it really changed anything for you financially? Is it pretty much the same deal? Same deal. You know, like I said, it's it's not really uh, affecting me financially anyway, so um, really doesn't change my thought process or, or mentality in any way. How do you approach this fight differently? Have you have you looked at any uh, tape of that first fight, or has it just been preparing like it was any other opponent? Yeah, uh, we went into this fight knowing that you know it's a completely new fight. Charles has improved a lot since our uh, our first time around. Uh, I think back in 2000, or at least four years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, completely different fighter. It's not going to be the same fight, and uh, we were pretty new. Um, you know, when we fought back um, in the XFO days, and you know, just both improved. So two different, two different styles now, and, and two two different fighters. What do you remember about that fight? First one. Um, you know, it's it's hard to say. I know we clinched a lot in the first round, but uh, I just caught him with a uh, like a looping right hand and and just caught him right on the chin. It was my first knockout, so I'll, I'll never forget that experience. And you know, it's no other uh, no no other great feeling of, of knocking somebody out and just knowing that it's over. You know. Do you expect the same in, in this fight, or are you expecting a completely different type of fight? It's hard to say. Like I said, Strauss gotten a lot better, and um, you know he's a completely different fighter. But I am as well, and you know I'm always looking to knock somebody out, go for the submission, or you know we're ready to go five rounds and then take the distance. So um, either way, wherever it goes, we'll be ready, and and it's going to be an exciting fight. What do you think he's improved on? Um, just overall his uh, his mentality. You know I don't think he took it as serious when we first started. You know I didn't as, as either, but. You know, we're, we're two uh, professionals now, and, and he's really uh, um, improved his game. He's changed his, changed his training camps. He's been working a lot more on his striking, his kicking, and uh, his overall just, just conditioning. You know, he's always been a, uh, a very conditioned athlete and um, knows how to push the pace. So, But mainly, I want to just say his striking and, and just overall his, his MMA game, you know, mixing up his strikes to his, uh, his wrestling and, and just his uh, overall control on the ground. What would you say is your biggest difference as a fighter between that point and now? Um, definitely my um, my striking. You know, when we first started, I was more of just a wrestler, grappler, lay on top of you. Very boring, but, um, um, you know, it wasn't as exciting. But, you know, striking was always a, uh, a, a problem for me and, and harder for me to grasp. Well, I spent a lot of time just working on my boxing, my kickboxing, and, you know, kind of just turned it into my own and, you know, brought me to where I'm at right now. Sure, and Daniel had to pull out of the fight with an injury the first time this was uh, put together. Are you at the point now where, you know, you've had it kind of hanging over your head for a while, that you're just happy the fight's here? Yeah, oh, absolutely. You know, I, I knew uh, I knew Daniel was going to win the, win the tournament, but, um, you know, just overall very happy. It's 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 against him. You know, he's, he's, uh, he deserves it, well-deserved, very, uh, very great guy, you know, good fighter, and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm glad it could be him. Any thoughts on the uh, Alvarez and Chandler fight? Uh, definitely a, a big fan of both, and um, it's going to be a great fight. First fight was was amazing. Hopefully, the second fight is, is equally as good. But um, it's hard to say, you know. Sure. Both both are really uh, really smart fighters and very talented, and uh, only getting better. So, was there ever any chatter about the possibility of you moving maybe to another card with uh, all the happenings that happen? You know, not on a pay per view now anymore. No, honestly, I, I didn't even I didn't even think about it. You know, I, I figured, you know, they gave me a date, November second. That's the fight uh, fight date that we were preparing for, and um, didn't expect them to cancel that and, and lose the show. Where so. would? Go ahead. Yeah, that's okay. Where does uh, Pat Curran rank in the, uh, in the world rankings? It, wherever wherever you think it is, I I really don't know, man. I, I don't follow it. I know. Feel like you can compete with anybody though. In oh the yeah, world and anybody they anybody they put in front of me, I know I can beat. You know, it's just getting in the right camp and, and being in the right state of mind, and you know I can know I can beat anybody. Is there any thought from you about maybe trying 155 again? Uh, you know, never know down the road. You know, sometime in the future, possibility. But right now, 45 is my home, and you know I'm doing pretty well at this weight class. So why uh, why go back up? Has Bellator ever said you know maybe floated the idea of like a super fight? Um, you know, not from Bellator. I heard it from a couple uh, reporters, but you know, never you never know if that's true or not. And you know, anything's a possibility down the road, but. Um, right now, it's just 45 uh, is my weight class, and I have plenty of uh, opponents to defend my title against.